Mobile power banks are really helpful in emergency cases, but they'll be even better if they had a torch option. Today we're going to see how we can add a torch to this power bank. First we'll start by opening up the power bank. As you can see from the internal circuitry and the battery that this is not the original Samsung power bank. It's a cheap Chinese power bank. We'll start by marking and making two holes on the side of the power bank. These holes will be used to fit the LEDs. To make the holes, first we'll start by making smaller holes and then gradually increase the size of the bed to get better holes. Sand the holes with smooth sandpaper to remove any rough edges. Make the holes big enough so that LEDs fit freely. Take two white LEDs, bend the terminal slightly and connect them in parallel. These LEDs should fit perfectly into the holes made earlier. Attach two small wires to a small push button. Make a small hole in the top of the power bank to fit this push button. The switch should be able to operate freely through this hole. Attach the bottom of the switch to the cabinet using some hot glue and connect a 1 ohm resistor to one terminal of the switch. Make sure the switch is working properly after sticking. Take three pieces of single stranded wires and connect one wire to the other end of the resistor. The other end of this wire is connected to the positive terminal of the LED. Connect one wire to the other end of the switch. Connect the third wire to the negative terminal of the LED. Now connect the wire from the negative terminal of the LED to the negative terminal of the battery. The other wire from the switch is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Before connecting, we can test if the lights work. Before connecting to the positive terminal, keep the LEDs in their respective slots. Cover the LED terminals with masking tape to avoid any short circuit. Cover all the joints with masking tape. The connections to the battery can be soldered or left as they are. One final test and we are ready to close the cabinet. But before closing the cabinet, we place a small rubber piece just below the switch. This rubber piece will act as an extra support to the switch. The torch is now ready. You can use this as a torch or to charge a phone as it is. If the LEDs get hot while using, increase the resistance value from 1 ohm to a higher resistance such as 10 ohms. After this modification also, you can charge and discharge the power bank normally without any changes. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos too. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.